Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have two triangles. These are isosceles triangles. One is blue and the other one is red. And now the question is, which one has the larger area, either blue or red? Since all these three sides are known, we can calculate the area of this triangle by using Heron's formula. This is very useful when all three sides are known. And here is the Heron's formula. The area of the triangle can be calculated by taking the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where A, B, and C are these three sides of the triangles, as you can see, A, B, C, and, and S is equal to the sum of these sides divided by 2. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this blue triangle first. And here's the very first step. Let's calculate the value of S, and S is always equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2. In our case, A is 25, B is 30, and C is 25. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So S equal to A is 25 plus B is 30 plus C is 25 divided by 2 if you add the numerators so that is going to give us 80 divided by 2 so s turns out to be 40 and here is our next step we are going to calculate the area of this triangle by using this formula the square root of s in our case s is 40 so let's go ahead and write down so the area is going to be 40 time s is 40 once again minus a in our case a is 25 times s once again is 40 minus b in our case is 30 times s is 40 once again minus c is 25 and we have this square root let's go ahead and simplify this one we're going to have a square root of 40 times that is going to give us 15 times 10 times 15 and if you multiply all these numbers, that is going to give us 9 and with the four zeros. And this is our area. Let's go ahead and uh, take the square root of this one, 90,000. That is going to give us 300 as an area. So thus the area of this blue triangle turns out to be 300 square units. And in few minutes, I will share with you the second method, how to calculate the area of triangle using the base height formula and the Pythagorean theorem. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this red triangle. And here is our very first step. Let's go ahead and find the value of S. And we know that A in our case is 25, B is 40, and C is 25. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. S equal to A is 25 plus B is 40 plus C is 25 divided by 2. So S is going to be equal to, on the top, on the numerator, if we add them, that's going to give us 90 divided by 2. So S turns out to be 45. 
and here is our next step we are going to calculate the area of this triangle this red triangle and we know the the let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case s is 45 let's go ahead and write down 45 time once again s is 45 minus a in our case is 25 times once again s is 45 minus b in our case is 40 times 45 minus c is 25 let's go ahead and simplify that one so that is going to area is going to be 45 times that is going to give us 20 times 5 times that's going to give us 20 as well and if we multiply inside this square root that is going to give us 90 thousand nine with the four zeros and this is a perfect square so a turns out to be 300 so thus the area of this red triangle turns out to be 300 square units and as we can see that the area of this blue triangle is 300 and the area of red triangle is 300 as well so therefore both triangles have same area and now let me go ahead and show you the second method as how to calculate the area of these triangles by using a base and height formula as well as the Pythagorean theorem and here's the second method for this blue triangle as you can see I have used two steps in the first step we found the value of this height h by using this Pythagorean theorem and then in the second step we applied this formula area of the triangle which is equal to b times h divided by 2 so our area of this blue triangle turns out to be 300 square units and here's the second method for this red triangle by finding the value of h first and then applying this area of triangle formula and finally we got the area of this red triangle which turns out to be 300 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye